I am in the back breezeway, and uh, this is a. That's actually what I was looking for before. Uh, this is a very janky repair. There once was a storm door on here, one of those aluminum storm doors, and uh, it kind of got blown away in a storm, so it didn't exactly work that well. Um, but what I did is uh, I got a door, well, I had <laughs> Hello, Piper. Uh, we're in the back breezeway today. Uh, I am having technical difficulties like mad, so uh, forgive me. The uh, reason we're back here is because uh, once upon a time there was a storm door here. And uh, there was a storm, and the storm door got blown completely off the uh, frame. Uh, completely bent it up and just took it out completely. So, And it was an odd-sized door, so I really didn't have anything to replace it. Uh, the closest I could come was one of these, which was a, uh, I got it from Menards for a dollar at one point because they had, you know, made mistakes in cutting it out, <clears throat> which is fine. I, you know, I'm not, for, uh, for a dollar, I will live with that, at least for a little while. The problem is, it doesn't quite fit. So what I did is I got a 2x4 here and uh, screwed it on so that it would have something to shut against and then, you know, do something like that to keep it intact. Now I did this very quickly because it was very cold and I wanted to try and get something up to keep the cold from coming in. However, today it's actually a fairly nice day. So I think what I would like to do is go ahead and take this out and move it and make it so that it actually shuts like a real door. So we're going to try that. Now, the what I had done here was try to reuse some of this uh, plastic that had been up, which is not in good shape. Uh, it's already kind of sun rotted and all of that, but it was to try and keep the wind out as best I could get it to. So now I'm going to uh, take all this out and start, you know, taking out some of this routed wood and these windows so that I can just get it down to that, uh, that last two by four piece. So yeehaw. Very healthy dog. You're very healthy.
So, I'm going to try one of these. I've never used one before. Uh, since the door already has the nice holes in it, I'm just going to use those, but I am going to try and put in the uh, latch, or the, uh, I don't know, what do you call it? The thing that the latch goes into, the pocket, the target, whatever it is. Uh, I'm going to try and get that installed properly. I do not like this kind of packaging. So the first step is to align this to the height that you want, and right now it's aligned with the uh, hole in the door. And then you want to actually screw it in to hold it in place. Take it off. Right, this is a routing jig, and it comes with this little routing bit an adapter. So the only what you're supposed to do is go ahead and route this out, and then chisel out the inner pieces. And that's just garbage. I don't like that at all. Finally got it installed. More of a pain than it should have been. Well, my other camera gave up the ghost. Uh, so what I ended up doing is putting some pieces on here so that when the door closes, it closes against that. Uh, that should help with some of the wind. I might end up putting some weather stripping in, but that's pretty, uh, it is pretty tight, so it should be okay. We'll find out. Still need to fill in there and do some stuff underneath. And of course the window here, or the thing that was kind of sort of a window, uh, I just got cardboard in there now to uh, block most of the wind. I'll have to do something with this uh, later, but uh, running out of running out of light tonight, and I think I'm done with this. This actually turned out pretty well.